Hi everybody, I am beyond excited. I know I say that every time I start a video, don't I? but it just gets better and better. So I want to introduce you today to the latest uh, member of the Cutting Craftorium collection, which is Designer Doilies. So for those of you that follow Cutting Craftorium, we originally did stencils where you got a hundred different stencils. Then we brought you Builder Box. So you got 30 boxes with 30 panels and you could put any pattern in any panel on any box. And then we looked at what we wanted to do after that, um, following on almost in that series. And we decided that we would do doilies because doilies are a great way of building a really quick card, but really, really impactful within the design of it. And it also gives you lots and lots of opportunities to mix and match, which is great. So I sat down and thought, right, as a crafter, what would I want? What would you want? Of course, because you're the most important person. But we all craft. So I like to think that my brain and your brains are pretty similar. So I thought, right, if we do 40 different doilies and we split them into circles, squares, ovals and rectangles to start with. And then we create a doily that you can literally cut out and pop it, put on a card. But then we have separate patterned panels for each doily. We have different outside edges. And we also have 40 pattern blocks that you can then put any of those patterns into any of those panels on any of those doilies. So we're kind of working within that. I haven't even worked out how many different options there are, but there are thousands and thousands. I started to cut everything out for one and I got to about 52 options. And that's before I start going into canvas and putting different patterns in and taking one pattern from one and another pattern from another. So it's just, it just goes on and on and on. It's almost infinite, which is fabulous because you can really then bespoke your doily to your project, to your customer or the recipient of your card. So it's super, super exciting as ever. I'm going to take you through and teach you step by step. Now, I'm not going to do any cutting. I've already done all that because some of the doilies will take 10, 15 minutes to cut out because they're intricate. And you know what? It's worth the wait. So when you're building your doilies, what I did was I cut out all the basic bits first and then I set the machine running with all the intricate bits so that while the intricate bit was cutting, I could be building the plainer ones. So I'm going to take you through a category at a time on the USB so you know what's in where and then we're going to talk through and show you how you can use those. So just before we start that I want to have a look at the booklet. Now the first thing you'll notice when you open the box is that this booklet is chunky because there's lots and lots of pages in it which means there's lots of inspiration. So if I open this up it shows you all your doilies, circles, ovals, rectangles and squares. Fran has also put um, card blanks on for you, which is great. And of course, these are all resizable as well. So if we just look at circle one, for example, you've got this lovely doily. This is what it looks like when you've cut all the parts and you've laid them up. Then you've got individuals. So you've got your medium and your small. Now, this is interesting because normally what we say is, you know, we give you one size and you can resize it, make it bigger, make it smaller. But what we decided with this one, because some of the bigger ones are quite intricate in their detail, if you shrunk it down too much, you would lose that detail. So we've done a large, a small and a medium. And as we go through this, I'll explain which parts you need for what, for which. It's not complicated. It's just working methodically through. And then for each one, we've done a sentiment circle. So you can add that into your doily if you want, but we've also done the word separate if you just want to use them on their own. So if I just flick through, I'm not gonna go through each one because that will be really boring and you want some, something really exciting. We're gonna work with this one, actually. Um, this is the one that I chose to do because I thought it was quite impactful. Um, but you can see as we go through, you've got ovals in there, you've got different pattern panels. So what the designers have done is allocated a pattern to a panel to a doily. So oval for, for doily, if you don't wanna go anywhere near canvas, will cut out like that, okay? And each one of them has a different decorative edge. It's super, super fun to work with. So we just go into the rectangles then. 
and then we've got more rectangles and then into the square. So we wanted to give you the four shapes, circles, squares, ovals, rectangles. Then when we come towards the back, this is where your panels come in. So the exciting thing about this is you've got 10 floral, 10 geometric, you've then got 10 lace and these are really detailed, like super, super fabulous. So you could cut these out of Doflex and use them as stencils. They are exquisitely beautiful. I think these are some of the best ones we've ever done. And then you've got your romantic bespoke patterns and then you've got your card shape. So he's done you easel cards and tenfold cards for each of the shapes, which is super fabulous. So I want you to just before we start, I want you to think about what this part means. So it means that any of the stencils, if you bought the stencil USB, any of those patterns you can put in any of these doilies. You can take any of the box panels and put those in your doilies. You can take any of the stencils and put them in your boxes. You can take any of the doilies and put them in your boxes. You can use your doilies as stencils. So you can see how we're now building up this library of pattern that enables you. So once you've made your 30 boxes with your 30 patterns, and you think quite fancy a different pattern in a different box this time, you can use either your stencil one or your doily one. Now, I'm not presuming that you buy all of them, but it's giving you those options. So as we're adding to the Cutting Craftorium resource library, we're giving you more that will work backwards and forwards. So because I'm a crafter like you are, I'm thinking about, right, what's coming next? How do we fit that into this? So you're getting more value out of your USBs, which is exactly what we want. We want that versatility. Right, so I'm going to get my scanning cut set up ready and then we're going to start and go through this USB.